What's up guys, welcome back. Today I want to go over uh, two new commands in the command line, but first I want to talk about um, how we're going to do it. So I just downloaded Django, which is um, which is basically a big piece of code. It has a lot of code in it, it's an open source um, Python framework for doing web stuff. You just go here and I click download. Um, I'll leave this in the description if you want to follow along and download this as well. But just wanted to let you guys know that. So it's in my downloads folder. If I do an ls, I see Django. So I'm just going to cd into Django. And we see all these little folders. I'm going to cd into Django again. And then there we see more folders. And we're going to just look at the utils folder for now. Okay, cool. So I see all these different files. What does the grep command do? What the grep command does is allows you to uh, search a, a piece of uh, a file for a certain word. So for example, let's say I want to search um, for the word if in the deconstruct um, file. What it does is when we run grep, it will print each line that has a if statement in it. So look, uh, this one has if statement. This one is an if statement, this guy is an if statement. So it just prints the line that has the if statement on it. But notice it's not just if statements, it's any um, letter if. Um, we can also use maps, or not maps, we can do um, uh, the star, which we saw in a different video. So for example, I can check if there's a uh, look for all instances of the use of if in all of these files right here. So if I hit enter, we can see it'll tell us the name of the file and then the line that it found the if in. So for example, in tree.py, we see there's an if right here and it spits out the line that has the if. So this is good for searching through lines of code um, if you want to find something um, and you know just check if something is there. For example, I don't know, we can just you know do something goofy. And you see there's gives us no output except for just this garbage um, because it was not able to find this. Um, this can be helpful if you're looking for a specific function, like let's see if they use the map function. And it looks like they use map a couple times, but notice it doesn't just hit map, it's mapping. Um, important to know you can also use regular expressions in grep. I'm not going to talk about how to use regular expressions right now. Um, those are more complicated. If you want to know about regular expressions, uh, let me know in the comments below, I may do a video on that. Um, but just know that what grep does is it allows you to, for the first command, put what you're looking for, and the second one, the file you'd like to look for. In this case, we're looking for everything. We could look at just Python files. Um, I can specify the certain Python file I'd like to look for, like we can check in six, and we see there's two lines that contain it. So it just spits out the lines that contain that. And that's how grep works. Uh, the next one I want to go over is find. Um, what this does is, I'm just going to clear this up, is it looks for um, multiple different things. For example, it can look for files, it can look for um, directories or folders, um, and that sort of thing. So if we just print, we notice we have um, inspect um, 6.py and some other jazz here. Um, we're going to remember that. We're just going to go up a folder. We're going to go back to um, downloads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find in Django. So first you do the command find uh, where you would like to um, search. I'd like to search in Django, the folder Django. Um, and then uh, you have to tell it what you're searching for. Now there's different ways to do that. Um, in this case I want to search for something with the name um, for example, 6. So I do a dash name and I do 6.py and I do enter. And notice it goes through and then finds, oh, here's uh, where 6 is located. Now it can do a lot, it can do more advanced things as well. First off, another flag that I use a lot is type. Um, you can do type f. Um, this specifies only search for. Um, for example, if there's a folder called 6.py, that's not the case, of course, it would find that too. Um, but this search is just for files, this search is just for folders um, or directories with the dash type D, which you'll see is important a little bit later. Um, so 
Um, you can also do wildcard expansion. So for example, I'm looking for, um, we can do I and then a star. Um, and you can see it spits out a whole bunch of stuff. Invalid URLs, um, because this starts with an I, any, word, any file that starts with an I it just found for us and printed it out. Um, so I'm just going to hit the up arrow to run that command again. And maybe I'm looking just for the ones that are Python files. Um, so all Python files that start for I is what I just tried to find there. Um, and you know you can do all sorts of different things to try to find different files. Um, so this is very nice, really handy. The other thing I like to do um, is what's called the exec command, the exec flag. So if I just do dash exec, what this will do is every time it finds a file, it will then grep it. Um, so, and this is where uh, it's very helpful. I'll show you if I don't run it with anything. Um, so let's say I'm, I'm looking for something specific for, I don't know, the word hello. Let's see if we can find that. Um, and you know, we get a bunch of this garbage. Is it a directory? Is it a directory? Is it a directory? And we get this nasty garbage because what it's doing is it's grepping um, directories and it's giving you basically an error message. Also, good to note, notice when I ran this command, I'm just like running, you know, it's going on. Let's say I don't want it to continue running, I see it's garbage. If you hit control C, that terminates the, uh, pr the program running. So control C stops that. Anyway, so you see how I got all that garbage about directories. If I do dash type f, that will only do files, and you won't get this stuff. Um, it looks like there's a binary file that has the word hello in it. Um, but let's do something else that'll pr that'll match better. Um, let's look for I don't know. Let's uh, obscure function. Let's see if they're casting anything to an int that's not that obscure. Um, so it's going through, and you can see it's still running. And it's looking for um, every time it sees a file with uh, int in it. So we're just going to cancel that. Um, but what's happening, and you can also do this, for example, I can do name. So you can stack these flags like I told you before. So uh, it has to be a um, dot .python file. The file has to start with an i and... Um, so right now we're trying to find a file that's in this folder. Um, it starts with an I and it's a Python file. It's a file and then we're grepping it to see if it has int in it. So we're just going to run it. And look at that. We, round, we found a couple, it looks like. A couple different files. But notice it just sends us a bunch of garbled text. We actually can't see um, what it, where it's from. If you do the dash print um, flag that will tell you where it's coming from. So for example, in the IPv6, you'll notice it has, uh, what were we looking for, int? It has int right there. So as you can see, this find is very powerful. Um, this might be kind of confusing, there's a lot going on here. I recommend you uh, looking at the man page for find. It has a lot of other things you can do for searching that is pretty helpful. Um, but it lets you do a lot of powerful things, a lot of cool things to search through code, find things, um, and it can be pretty handy when you don't know where things are. Um, you, you're trying to find something. I, I, I find myself doing it a lot. Um, for example, in like my home directory I search, like find squiggly, um, and I'm looking for, I don't know, a file that, you know, sometimes I'm looking for this specific file. I know I, I started with a P, and I know it was a C++ file, but I don't remember exactly what I called it, and I can just run something like this, and it'll go and find uh, something that uh, matches that description. So it can be really helpful.